Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, Deacon Andrew Chatfield, and I'm from Jesse Lighthouse Ministry, where my pastor's name is Pastor Marcella Jackson, 680 Wood Drive in Atlanta here. So, if I'm down there, if you need someone to come to your church, we would be more than happy to come, okay? So, you give us a call at 470-328-3401. Now, now, now I'm going to turn it over to Brother Dupree. Let him do a couple of songs. We're going to pray. And we're going to do whatever we need to do here for the Lord this afternoon. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We give God the praise and we love God because God loved us. And we want to give him praise, honor, and glory. Jesus paid a price for us that we might have life and have it abundantly. Now, we're going to try to uplift some spirit and hopefully someone that might be in need of salvation that they might receive even Christ in their heart today. It's a song that we sing off time, and we're going to try to sing a little bit of it. And getting started uh, as we uh, give God praise, give his name, the honor, and the glory. This song, we refer to it as, There are some things... Uh, I may not know There are some place I can't go But this one thing I truly know That God is real, I can feel Him in my soul. Yes, God is real, He's real in my soul. Yes, God is real. my soul yes God is real for I can feel him in my soul his love for me is like like gold Yes, God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Yes, God is real, oh, thank you, Lord. He's real in my soul, thank you, Lord. Yes, God is real. my soul Yes, God is real for I can feel Him in my soul His love for me is like like gold Yes, God is real I can feel him in my soul. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And this is Evangelist Dupree. And I appreciate the Lord. My brother Chatfield and his wife, we are trying to encourage someone today that they might know God in their heart. 
we living in days that perilous, the Bible referred to it as last time. And what we want to do is try to encourage someone that might be a blessing to you, that Jesus love you, and we need to learn to love him back. Hallelujah. Before we have prayer, we're going to try another song. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. My wife usually sings this particular song that I'm going to try called Hand Lifted Up. With Hand Lifted Up. With Hand Lifted Up. In my heart filled with pain. With the heart of thanksgiving. I'm blessed to you, oh Lord. I'm blessed to you, oh Lord. Hallelujah. I'm blessed to you, oh Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. I'm blessed to you, oh Lord. So let there be singing. And let there be praise. Let there be mercy in the house of our God. Rejoice, rejoice, hallelujah. Give him the praise. Rejoice, rejoice. We are building together. In the house of our God, with hand lifted up, and my heart filled with praise, with the heart of thanksgiving, I'll bless thee, O oh Lord. I'll bless thee, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. I'm blessed to you, oh Lord, with all the things good. I'm blessed to you, oh Lord. So let there be singing, and let there be praise. Let there be mercy. In the house of our God, rejoice, rejoice, hallelujah, rejoice, rejoice, we are building together, in the house of our God. In the house of our God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Are you going to pray? We're going to have a word of prayer. We're going to ask you that don't mind to just reverence the Lord spiritually in your mind and your thought at this particular time. If you are enjoying the, this video or we're enjoying this program, we would that you bow your head and ask God to be a blessing to us. God, we thank you for letting us come to the house of the Lord one more time. We know that we are living in last days and we are trying to just stand at, stand up as a, a deep beacon light that someone might 
be saved. Someone might come to the knowledge of God. God, we pray that you just touch in our spirit and in our heart. And, and someone that may be listening, Lord, we pray that you just encourage in their spirit and in the hearts of them, Lord. And let men and women know in these last days that we're living in perilous time is here. There's so much is going on in this particular world today. And we are trying to escape the tragedy, the things that are happening. And we can only do this in Christ Jesus. For the Bible lets us know that the heart of man is wicked desperately. But we pray that you just touch our heart, uh, men and women everywhere, Lord, wherever they might be, Lord. Jailhouse, they might be just street walking, God. They may be in a home or church even. And God, even in hospital, we pray that you just deliver souls today. Now, Lord, we thank you again for letting us come together to worship you, to praise you, to love you, and knowing that you will love us back. And again, we thank you for this privilege, and we thank you for uh, the sister that had made this possible, and uh, my brother Chad Field, that they worked together, and we thank you, we thank you. In your son Jesus' name, we ask these blessing. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost, let every soul say, Amen. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad. Church, Jesus lifted me, singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me when I was in sin. Jesus lifted me. When I was in sin, Jesus lifted me. When I was in sin, Lord, Jesus lifted me. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me. I'm so glad, Lord Jesus. Singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me when I was a sinner. Jesus lifted me when I was a sinner. Jesus, when I was a sinner, Jesus lifted me. I'm singing glory, hallelujah. Jesus lifted me. The song says, I'm so glad. Jesus lifted me, I'm so glad, Jesus, I'm so glad, Lord, Jesus, I'm singing glory, hallelujah, Jesus lifted me, Jesus give me life, Jesus lifted me, Jesus give me life, Jesus lifted me. Jesus, give me life, Lord, at Jesus. I'm singing glory. Oh, Jesus, lifting me. I'm so glad. Jesus, lifting me. I'm so glad, Lord, at Jesus. I'm so glad, Lord, Jesus. Oh, it's glory. Ah, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, you want to try one? Hallelujah, Brother Chad, for you're going to give us a song or two or however what's in his heart. And, and then we might come back if the Lord's will and worship with you again. Hallelujah, Brother Chad. Well, again, good afternoon again. You know, there's a whole bunch of people 
you know, they do this and they do that. But, you know, they got sweethearts and lovers and all that. But you, understand me. You know, if you write God a letter, you won't have nothing to worry about because he will take care of you. Lord, I, I wrote this song yeah, yeah. with you in mind, yeah, I do. and Lord, you told, told me the song with you. I told him, yeah, that you cry, that God to go, go to some trial, a trial and trial, tribulation, just as long as you. Uh, trying to do uh, do uh, me uh, what I could not uh, do for my uh, myself and Lord I thank I thank you Lord for being so good, so good to me, because Lord, that's why I wrote this song with you in mind. Oh Lord, I heard, I heard a voice, a voice from heaven. Lord, that's why uh, I wrote this song with you in mind. Oh, oh, yes, I did. Because, Lord, you be just like a father, a father to me. Lord, that's why I I wrote this song because Lord, you, Lord, you so be like a her mother, a mother to me, and that's why I wrote, I wrote this song. With you in mind, because Lord, you stood, you stood in the gap with no one else. And Lord, you're free, and they turn their back, and they back on you. And Lord, that's why I. I wrote this song with you in mind. Oh, oh, yes, I did. And Lord, I thank I thank you, Lord, for being so good. Lord, you, you die. Uh, up on the cross uh, to save my soul. Uh, Lord, that's why I, uh, I wrote this song uh, with you in mind. Oh, yes, I did. Now, now we're going to do something, you know, 
Like I said, I don't know what you come to do, but I come to pray to the Lord. I don't know what you come, come to do, come to pray, pray my God. What's I do? I don't know what you call. Come to do, come to me. But my God, yes I did. That's why I don't know what you come to do. Come to me. But my God, yes I did. What's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Jesus. Jesus. What name is Jesus? How you there? Say, hey, Jesus. J-E-S. You That baby. All day long. All night too. I don't know. What you call, come to do, come to pray, pray my God, yes I do. I can't hear you, I can't hear you, what is his name, what is his name? My name is G. Jesus. Hey, Lord. Oh, Lord. I don't know what to call. Come. come to do. Come to pray. Pray, my God. Yes, I do. See, this is the spirit you get when you serve a good God. This is the spirit you get. And I don't care how you put it, shape, form, or fashion. When you serve in God, you can do these things without a whole bunch of problems. Because, see, as I hand Brother Dupree saying, you don't know what this world going to bring. Because every day something is happening. And that, that is not good for none of us. Because he put us here to serve him. Not them, not Satan. And I just thank God for it because he has blessed me. On, now, I could tell you something else, but see, he blessed me with a beautiful wife. Right. I don't have to be worried about where she's doing and where she's going because we are one. On. We're one. And I don't care whatever way we go, we're still one. So that's why I want to do this. Lord, I thank, I thank you, Lord, for being so good, so good to me, and Lord, I just want to pray your name. Oh, yes, yes, I do. And Lord, I thank, I thank you, Lord, for being so good, so good to me. And Lord, you started, you started me on. Uh, on my way and Lord I thank I thank you Lord for giving me well a well made of mine 
Let's do thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, I do. Because, Lord, you gave. You gave me life. And, Lord, I thank. I thank you, Lord. For being here right there. When I was dying, I died and I, Lord, you still, you still ready, and Lord, that's why I want to pray, pray your name, oh, yes, I do. And Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, for God's who carry and died up on the cross to save my soul. Oh, oh, oh Lord, and Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, for being so good, so good to me. Lord, I just want to pray your name. Oh, yes, I do. Because, Lord, you, you gave me to. Two feet to walk, and Lord, I just want to thank you, Lord, for giving me two, two eyes to see. Lord, that's why I want to thank, to thank you, Lord. Oh, yes, I do. Because, Lord, you <laughs> brought, brought me from my a mighty long way. Oh, yes, you did. And, Lord, that's why I, I want to thank. want to give God praise because God is worthy of all praise, uh -huh. honor, and glory. And we all need the, the word of God. Yes, we do. And I would like to start off with Hebrew 9.27, the book of Hebrews 9.27. And matter of fact, that particular verse tells us something that we all should be mindful of. Because all of us are going to have to deal with that particular situation. Amen. And in that book of Hebrew, it tells us in the ninth chapter, in the 27th verse, I think about virtually maybe just quoting it. It did tells us that it appointed unto man once to die. And then after that, we have an occasion that we have to stand before the judgment. Amen. And it read like this. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. And that's something to think about as you as we uh, live the life that we are living. And it may, maybe the lifestyle that some of us are carrying on with, we need to really take a good look at that particular passage. Read it sometime and, and kind of let, let it marinate within your thoughts. 
uh, it used that term, it's appointed. It's no if, and, and buts about it. Yeah. There's appointment that we're going to have to meet God one day. And 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 some of us may not be uh, alive when Jesus returns. Some may be dead, but the fact is, we're going to have to still stand before the Bible says a judgment. Mm-hmm. And uh, who are you thinking about that? And 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 just marinating. I just I've been to two funerals. Matter of fact, this particular well, one this month. And the one last month, and the one this particular month, matter of fact, it was this past weekend, it was a brother-in-law. And I believe the lifestyle that he lived was a blessing. Yeah. Because I believe uh, we don't know <laughs> where the individual will go. We hope and pray the lifestyle will give us a little indication of what we believe. And we believe that he will enter that place we call heaven, or paradise, if you want to put it like that. And uh, so for that cause, we rejoice at his particular death. But in some burial, it's hard to rejoice, even though we try to anyway. But it's hard to rejoice at some of them because we realize the person's lifestyle won't grant him that pleasantness that we all will look forward to in our death. Yeah. And and probably you like me. I'm sending up Tim's as we call it. Uh, uh, why? Because we believe that that's what it's going to take for us to enter that place. Right now we're going through the sorrow, pain, agony, suffering, and things of that nature. But one day we won't have to worry about that any longer. But before we get back on to a couple more songs, if we have the time, I want to also read something in the book of Romans. And I'm going to begin this particular first chapter of the book of Romans, about the 19th verse, or the 18th verse in the first chapter of the book of Romans. I want to read some of that, and uh, and may God bless and our endeavor today to encourage someone or be a blessing to someone. Uh, and it reads like this in the 18th verse. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodly and unrighteousness of man. And when we look at this world we're living in today, you know it's a lot of unrighteousness going on. And it says who hold the truth of or, or the truth in unrighteousness. Uh, and then the 19th verse says, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God had showed it unto them. And the 20th verse says, for the invisible thing of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen being understood by things which are made, even eternal, the eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. And who's without excuse? We can try to make up excuses if we want to, but it's no excuse when it comes down to uh, are you saved, are you right with God, or have you got your house in order? We can make up excuse. we try to make up excuse, but the Bible says there won't be no excuse. Because we have the privilege to obey the word of God and listen to men and women of God as they try to comfort us and uh, talk to us about the blessedness of God. But most of us are like myself, I'll put it like that, hard head. And they used to tell me that a lot. They used to tell me that quite a bit coming up. Uh, and matter of fact, some even today think it's, it's hard to get. But uh, I appreciate one thing about the blessing of God is that even though through my hard-headedness I had a moment in time to realize that I need Jesus. And God did that in my life for me, and he gave me a mind to uh, obey his word, stop some of the stuff that I was doing and obey his word. The 24th verse in this first chapter said, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain 
and their imagination, and their foolish heart was darkened. And it said, the foolish heart was darkened. What, how can our heart be actually darkened? In other words, we only walk in light when Christ is in us. We are in the light, the Bible said. Uh, without Christ, we are in darkness. And it referred to you as the foolish heart. And foolishness is, is, is talking about the way we carry and live, the lifestyle we live. Some hate, some have malice, want to hurt others, want to destroy one another, the loved one even, uh, and stuff of that nature. So that's foolishness and that darkness because that's of the, of the dark, darkness of Satan. Uh, which is the ruler, according to Ephesians, the second chapter, and the prince of this world. Uh, but the Bible says something in the 22nd verse in the same chapter, professing themselves to be wise, they become fools. And most people that are without Christ, when you talk to them and ask them whether or not they save or not or desire to be saved, most of them will tell you, yes, I'm saved, or some will tell you, well, I... Uh, I don't have time for it or, or, or some more things I would like to do. Or, uh, and some just declare the fact that there is no God, as the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, I mean in the book of uh, uh, Psalms, the 18th chapter, from the first verse, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it talks about uh, they deny God, the truth of God, professing themselves to be wise but became fool in their, in their heart was darkened because they neglected the glory of God. But we come today to let you know God is real. God loves us. He paid a price for you and I. And we try to encourage us because the more of us get right with God, the more defense we have against the wicked one or Satan or even the wickedness of this world. A couple more verses before we get back into the song. Uh, if, uh, if it's all right with my brother, Chad Field, uh, we thank God for him again. And it went on to talk about in the 23rd verse, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into the image made like unto corruptible man, birds, four-footed beasts, and creeping thing. The 24th verse said, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own heart, dishonoring their own bodies between themselves, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and served the creature more than the creator. Uh, for this God, for this cause, God give them up unto vile affection. Even their women did change the truth. They did change the natural, or change the natural use unto that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burning their lusts one toward another. Men with men. Uh, uh, working that which is unseemly, receiving to themselves that recompense of their error, which is meat. Uh, and the 28th verse says, And even so they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. God give them over to reprobate mind to do things which are not convenient, things of which are not right in the sight of God. And I'm going to conclude in the, in the, in the Bible, talks about something in the book of uh, Jeremiah, the seventeenth chapter, Jeremiah, and I want you to think about what we're talking about here today. Uh, it's good to sing song and to rejoice, go to church and have a joyous time, and do like David, just dance if you want to, but do it in the name of sweet Jesus, and do it correctly in Jesus' name, because uh, it's joy in Him. I heard my brother talked about when we, you on the Lord's side, you something else. Uh, note what the ninth, the seventeenth chapter, of the book of Jeremiah said in the ninth verse: "The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The heart of man. If you're not right with God, you can do all the good you want to, but the heart is wicked, evil. So we just trust in God. We depend on God." to deliver us from our heart. Do you know we born in sin, the Bible tells us. Adam did kind of mess us up, but we give God praise. He sent his only son in Adam's stead to get, bring us back where Adam threw us away. And we're here today to try to rejoice 
even though Adam kind of messed things up, Christ came to straighten it out again. And, and all he's saying to you, Matthew eleven twenty eight, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. He said, I'll give you rest. I know uh, a lot of us have problems. You got a problem, I got a problem. But we have a deliverer. We have help. And that's sweet Jesus. That Jesus, that dynamite from heaven. Goodness, it went fast. All right. Uh, we're going to, you want to conclude or you want to? This song called Old Ship of Zion, just a verse or two of it. Tis the old Ship of Zion. Get on board If you want to see Jesus To get on board Hallelujah For him Hallelujah. To the oh yeah, Lord, Lord, Lord. Ship us on. Get on board. If you want to do, oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. To get on board. Hallelujah, for him. I heard somebody say, I got a mind born. She's on board, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody said, my dear mother, Lord, 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 Lord. She's on board. Get on board. If you want to see Jesus, oh, thank you, Lord, hallelujah, to get on board, for him, to the old ship of Zion. Hallelujah, hallelujah, our glory, ship of Zion, to get on board, if you want to see Jesus, oh glory, to get on board, for him, I want to add this right here. Jesus is our captain. And Jesus, he's on board. You know that Jesus is our captain, Lord, 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 Lord. And Jesus is on board. To get on board. If you want to see Jesus, oh, thank you, Lord, Holy Ghost. Get on board for you. Did you want to finish? Did you want to finish up? Say something. She said we have a five She said she's gonna put her finger up. Huh? She's gonna put her finger up. Right. Huh? No, it's closing prayer. You wanna do it? Hallelujah. Brother Chatfield, close us out with prayer.
Lord, we thank you this afternoon for letting us gather together here again this afternoon. Father God, and most of all, thank Miss Betty Craig for being so concerned. You know, she's concerned by all people, and I thank God for her because if it hadn't been for her, then it wouldn't have been possible for us to do this. So, Lord, I thank you for her. Yeah. Thank you for the, the staff at uh, this WEAN station. Father God, we just thank you in your holy name. Lord, we just ask you, Lord, to bless us all, Father God. Bless the sick, all the people in the hospital, Father God. Don't forget the bereaved family. Lord, go by and touch them with the finger of love. Father God, we just thank you for being so good. And again, I thank you, Lord, for yeah. allowing my wife to be here this afternoon. God, uh, I thank you, Lord, because she is the next best thing to you, Father God, that happened to me. And I hand, uh, if I do present about the thing, one thing and another, but I know for a fact there is a God. And God, you know, He have, He brought me in out of the rain some years ago. Father God, and I thank you, you know, for bringing me in out of the rain because if it hadn't have been for that, I'd have been in the bunch of the deceased bunch. So Father God, I'm thanking you, Lord, that's thanking you for blessing me. Father God, don't forget my pastor, Pastor Marcella Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget him, Father God. Bless him. Father God, bless all the children that in the world that belong to him. So, Father God, I just thank you in your holy name. Father God, I know that was a God because last week he was sick and he couldn't get out of bed. But he up and at it now again. So, Father God, that I know that was a God because... You cured him of cancer, you cured him of the cold, so Father God, he's still with you. You said, hurt not, not my ninety one, so Father God, he is your ninety one. Father God, so we did right here in this circle, Father God, we thank you for this afternoon in your holy name. Amen. Thank you. What's the name? Huh?